Well, we want to change directions now, get an update on our forecast. Jason joins us today. He's in for Matt with the latest on what we have coming. And Jason, we have enjoyed the sunshine today. I know that good things don't always last forever, though. I know we have BK and we're actually we're still looking at this as glass half full with the sunshine. I can see straight across the studio now at our CSU cam. It is this panning over towards the left. We still have a lot of sunshine across northeast Ohio, despite some extra clouds this afternoon into the evening, and we'll likely continue that trend into the overnight hours. But look at where we are. 40 degrees. Our average high is about 38 degrees for this time of year. So we've still been averaging above in several areas across the region region, which is great news for us. So what do we have on tap for us this evening? Well, we have a weak frontal boundary that's going to be kind of slicing and dicing across northeast Ohio into the overnight. We'll cut our temperatures back across the region and we'll keep the spring light conditions farther south, but they will not remain there. We're going to have a ridge that's going to be building into the area as we make our way through the week here. So we want to start out talking about this upper air pattern. What does that look like and how much is it sort of guiding the ship for us this week? Well, we have some of those mild conditions with this ridge building east of the Mississippi by Wednesday heading in towards Thursday. We're going to exchange that for the trough over towards the west and we start to wrap in some colder air by Friday, Saturday of this week. Boom, you can see that coming back in just in time for the weekend. In terms of precipitation during this time with the ridge building and the mild conditions, you guessed it, we're likely going to have more rain moving back through the lower 48. It's really a Bob Ross palette right now. We have multiple states. In fact, more than a third of this country under high wind advisories, warnings, winter storm warnings, blizzard, including that over in uh, Wyoming, and even flood advisories and even warnings down south across the lower uh, 48 southeastern states. As far as we're concerned, we'll be okay for the rest of the evening. We'll have a frontal boundary arrive through the area overnight tonight that'll cut our temperatures back, but we're already watching our next system. So we have a southerly system firing through the four corners over the next 24 hours, and also another dynamic system that's going to cruise right into the northern and also Central Plains by Wednesday, Thursday. So three things to know. Rain is returning, 50s and 60s are returning, and a crash of temperatures again will be following suit by the end of the week. Seasonably chilly. That's what we're going to call it for the rest of the evening as temperatures are going back into the 30s. We'll keep our National Design Mart look ahead forecast for you fairly broad where you can see these two systems come together by Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, we could have a stray pop up shower here or there for our Tuesday. A little bit more sunshine is expected through the afternoon. By Wednesday, we start to work in more clouds and look at this ridge building on end. We'll have that southerly wind come in through the day for us on Wednesday. We'll start off with perhaps a little bit, just a wee bit of rain mixing over to snow and then eventually all rain because temperatures will be well above freezing for us on Wednesday. We continue that trend, but keep much of the uh, winter precipitation in southern Canada for us on Wednesday night into Thursday. Lingering showers possible. Look at this ridge still set over us on Thursday, and then we exchange that for a trough digging south across the region Thursday night into Friday. Most of Friday will be confined into the 20s and daytime hours. OK, so what does that remember? What does that uh, kind of remind you of? last Friday when we were stuck into the 30s. Here's your Union Home Mortgage 7 a.m. Look, so we're stair stepping our temperatures mid to low 40s by Tuesday. Rain moves in on Wednesday. Even more rain expected on Thursday. Look at this mid 60s and then phew, take a deep dive back into the 20s on Friday and then we rebound slightly for Saturday and Sunday. Again, not a terrible forecast, but this up and down flow, it does tend to wear on your bodies. Guys. All right, Jason, we saw that cadmium yellow and the Prussian blue and uh, the Van Dyke brown, those Bob <laughs> Ross colors helping to uh, color that map there. We did. Only Bob Ross nerds will know that. I Boom. Have no but idea what you're just. There's a little help from uh, the internet, too. All right, thanks so much, Jason. You're welcome.